Hello and welcome to the Hooniverse. In this video I will be continuing a series of videos all about the history of Doctor Who. So as you've most likely read in the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about the race of beings known as the Cybermen. Cybermen are beings that have been technologically augmented, replacing organic parts, organs and limbs for those made of metal and plastics. One of the few organic parts which remain intact is the brain, which is adapted with an emotional inhibitor, a device which stops them feeling any emotion, because if they saw what and who they had become, often without choice, then it would drive them insane, filling their bodies with pain and sadness. Cybermen have conquered and spread across the universe, and have become feared by many. So how did this all start? Well, the Cybermen first appear in the serial The Tenth Planet in 1966, set in 1986, in which their origin story is given as follows. Millions of years ago, during prehistoric times, Earth had a twin planet known as Mondas. Mondas was knocked out of solar orbit and drifted into deep space. The Mondasians, already far in advance of Earth's technology and fearful for their race's survival, their lifespans shortening, replaced most of their bodies with cybernetic parts. Having eventually removed all emotion from their brains to maintain their sanity, the natives installed a drive propulsion system so they could pilot the planet itself through space. As the original race was limited in numbers and were continually being depleted, the Mondasians, now Cybermen, became a race of conquerors who reproduced by taking other organic beings and forcibly changing them into Cybermen. These Cybermen fight against the First Doctor when the Cybermen attempt to drain the Earth's energy to make way for Mondas's return to the solar system. However, Mondas absorbs too much energy from Earth, destroying it and all those Cybermen on Earth. The adventure takes its physical toll on the Doctor, forcing him to regenerate for the first time, becoming the Second Doctor. Redesigned Cybermen next appear in The Moon Base, which was an episode made in 1967 but set in 2070, opposite the Second Doctor, who discovers a crypt containing Cybermen during a visit to the Moon. They attempt to remotely destroy the Earth by affecting its weather patterns with a device called the Gravitron. However, the Gravitron is used against them, hurling them into space. Later that year, the Tomb of the Cybermen sees a 25th century human expedition discover a sarcophagi containing hibernating Cybermen on the planet of Telos, where the creatures arise and attack. This episode introduces the Cybermats, small mechanical scouts used by the Cybermen, as well as their leader, the Cyber Controller, in The Wheel in Space, an episode made in 1968, the Doctor and his crew face off against the Cybermen on a marooned Earth space station in the 21st century. This episode introduces the Cyber Planner, an immobile unit which directs the Cybermen. The Cybermen plan to take over the space station, after which their fleet will invade Earth. The Doctor uses an X-ray laser to destroy the Cybermen. In the invasion that same year, the Doctor and his companions visit late 20th century England where he discovers an army of Cybermen are hidden on Earth, working with magnate Tobias Vaughan for their fleet to invade Earth. Their invasion is defeated by the Doctor and the military support of the newly formed unit. The Cybermen were not shown to face the third Doctor during his original run, but one is shown as part of an exhibit in the Carnival of Monsters, an episode made in 1973. The fourth Doctor is next to encounter a small group of Cybermen in Revenge of the Cybermen, an episode made in 1975, for which they were once again redesigned. These Cybermen are depicted as the wandering remnants of a fallen empire, ravaged by the so-called Cyber Wars against victorious humanity, which had crucially exploited the Cybermen's weakness to gold. These Cybermen attempt to restore the glory of their race by destroying the humans' gold-rich asteroid vo Another long hiatus preceded Earthshock, a serial made in 1982, in which the Fifth Doctor encounters Cybermen on Earth in the year 2526, who seek to destroy the planet with a large bomb while alien degeneratives visit Earth to discuss the ongoing cyber wars. After the Doctor foils this plan, they decide to crash their freighter into the planet to much the same effect. The Doctor's companion, the boy genius Adric, is trapped on board and attempts to escape from the freighter, but inadvertently causes it to hurtle back in time. The freighter crashes into prehistoric Earth, killing Adric and triggering the K.T. extinction event. The Cybermen appear once more in the Fifth Doctor's era, alongside the four previous Doctors in the Five Doctors, a serial made in 1983, when they are all transported alongside other nemesis of the Doctor, 
to his home planet of Gallifrey by the Time Lord President Barossa. An attack of the Cybermen, an episode made in 1985, is set much earlier in the Cyber Wars than Revenge, during a time in which the Cybermen faced defeat following the human invention of the Glitter Gun and the discovery of Gold Rich Voga. The Cybermen attempt to use the time machine to invert the destruction of Mondas. Their plan fails and they also lose their adopted homeworld of Telos to its original inhabitants, the Cryons, following the intervention of the Sixth Doctor. The Cybermen appeared for a final time in the classic series in The Silver Nemesis, an episode made in 1988, in which a fleet of Cybermen warships assemble to convert Earth into a new Mondas. A Cybermen scouting party is sent to Earth in search of the legendary Nemesis statue, a Time Lord artifact of immense power, made of the living metal Validium. The intervention of the Seventh Doctor and his companion Ace, however, ensures that the Nemesis destroys the entire Cyber fleet instead. Doctor Who was revived after a long hiatus in 2005. By then, development of CGI-let scriptwriters include large numbers of Cybermen, or Daleks, in stories. In the first series of the revived program, the Cybermen do not appear except for an inactive head of one, which is seen in the private museum of alien artefacts on Earth in the episode Dalek. For series 2 in 2006, Cybermen were reintroduced with the new origin story set in a parallel universe. In The Rise of the Cybermen and The Age of Steel, a two-part story, the Tenth Doctor and his companions crash land in a parallel London, where the Cybermen are being created on modern-day Earth. The Cybermen are created by the owner of Cybus Industries, the dying transhumanist mad scientist John Lumick. Lumic Cybermen successfully convert much of the world's population by placing their human brains into robotic shells. The Doctor and his friends free London from their control. A human resistance group, the Preachers, then sets out to clean up the remainder of Lumic's factories around the world. The Cybermen reappear in the 2006 finale, Army of Ghost and Doomsday, exploiting the breach between universes to invade the Doctor's Earth. This breach is caused by a transport device belonging to the Daleks who reveal themselves and trigger all that war between the species. The Doctor ultimately reopens the breach, causing the Cybermen and all but a few Daleks to become trapped inside. Before it is resealed, Cybermen next appear in the 2008 Doctor Who Christmas special, The Next Doctor, emerging in 1851 London. After the Daleks damage the walls of reality in the previous episode, they attempt to raise a new army on Earth, using period technology, but are again foiled by the Doctor. The parallel universe Cybermen design continued to appear. No explicit reference is made to their origin, but generally the stylized C for Cybus Industries on their chest plate has been replaced by a plain circle, implying that they are not from parallel universe. They appear in the Pandorica Opens, an episode made in 2010, alongside many of the Doctor's reoccurring enemies as part of an alliance dedicated to stopping him, arriving in Cyber ships in 102 AD. They appear again in A Good Man Goes to War in 2011, when the 11th Doctor's companion Rory demands the location of a secret asteroid base in the quadrant of space which they monitor in the 52nd century. The Doctor destroys a large fleet of their spaceships to indicate their seriousness. In closing time, an ancient slumbering cyber ship is awakened in 2011 Colchester, and the Doctor and his friend Craig work together to repel a Cyberman invasion. This episode also reintroduces Cybermats to the series. Nightmare in Silver, an episode from 2013, depicts the re-emergence of the Cybermen in the distant future, following what was believed to be their complete eradication by humankind. These redesigned Cybermen have discarded many of their limitations, exhibiting increased speed, rapid upgrading to overcome weaknesses, and the ability to cyber-convert any biological organism into their ranks. The 11th Doctor undergoes a partial cyber-conversion and mentally duels with a cyber-planner for control of his body. The Emperor of the Galaxy orders a planet's destruction to wipe out the Cybermen, but one intact Cybermite, a new minuscule Cybermat variant, is later seen floating through space. A dead Cyberman head is briefly shown in the Unit Black Archive in The Day of the Doctor, and in The Time of the Doctor they are among the many species which besieged the planet Trenzalore for centuries. In the later episodes, the Doctor also uses a disembodied Cyberman head, devoid of any remaining organic parts. Named Handles, he serves as the Doctor's personal assistant and confidant for several centuries in his eventual death, brings the Doctor to tears. In the finale of the 2014 series Dark Water and Devon Heaven, the Twelfth Doctor learns too late that the Cybermen have formed an alliance with Missy, 
the current female incarnation of the Master. Missy, who is converting the stolen bodies of the dead into an army, a cyber conversion process begins on all of the Earth's dead. Missy offers the Doctor control of the Cyberman army, so they can rule the universe together. But her plan is foiled when Danny Pink, the cyber-converted boyfriend of the Doctor's companion, resists his programming and destroys himself, along with all the other Cybermen. Cybermen are next seen in Face the Raven in 2015, among the various alien refugees hiding in London, and in the series finale Hellbent in which a rusted Cyberman is imprisoned in the cloisters of Gallifrey. The origin of the Cybermen of Mondas is reimagined in the two-episode series 10 finale, Wild Enough in Time and The Doctor Falls, when a Mondasian colony ship escaping a black hole for many years. The human-like Mondasians, assisted unknowingly by the Master, begin upgrading their population to adapt to life aboard the decaying ship. The Doctor reflects on all the societies that have created Cybermen, and concludes that the Cybermen is an example of parallel evolution a concept that is waiting to impose itself on human-like species across the universe. Ultimately, this encounter with the Cybermen proves brutal. The Doctor's companion, Bill, is cyber-converted. Two incarnations of the Master kill one another in a disagreement over standing alongside the Doctor, and the Doctor's companion, Nardole, is left behind on the ship to look after human colonists, for whom inevitable cyber-conversion has been delayed, but not averted. The Doctor, exhausted to a point of nearing death, awakens in his TARDIS and begins to regenerate. So that is the history of the Cybermen, a race who have had more origin stories than most Doctor Who villains. They are a race of beings that have caused numerous Doctors to change their appearance, and they are relentless in upgrading or deleting every person they can find. The Cybermen always start again, anywhere there are people, through the process of parallel evolution. So I'm sure we'll be seeing the Cybermen again in the future. Thanks for watching this video all about the history of the Cybermen. If you want to learn about the history of the Daleks, which I managed to organise into the Dalek timeline of events from the Thousand Year War to the most feared race in the universe, then check out the link to the video on the left. And if you want to see more videos all about Doctor Who and support this channel, then please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.